Hi everybody, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2019-2020 Panini Prison Basketball Retail Edition, the purple boxes. Three box, pick your team, number 19. And with a chance to win, the Pelican. So we didn't sell the Pelicans. We're giving it away to someone in the break. One team equals one entry. The more you buy, better, better opportunities for Pels. Let's roll it. Let's randomize it. Four and a two, six times. Name on top after six. One, two. Good luck, everybody. Three, four, five, and six. There's six. There's six right there. Name on top after six. Thanks, everyone, for getting to this break. Is going to be Matthew Shira. Nice. Congrats to you. So you now have the Pelicans in this little three box break. Pretty quick break right here. Let's see how it works out for you. All right, here's the final printout right here. Excellent. Thanks, everyone, for getting in. Always appreciated. And it sounds like Jason Jaspi just went live on Instagram, at Jaspi's Breaks on Instagram. That's our Twitter handle, too, at Jaspi's Breaks, Instagram, and Twitter. So follow us on Instagram, at Jaspi's Breaks. And then you'll see a little live, so if you're subscribed, following our channel, then you'll see a little live circle on the top of your Instagram app. And Jason Jaspi does have uh, Panini Noir personal boxes available. So keep, keep an eye on the stream. Let's see if someone gets, uh, gets a little spicy and, uh, and get, <laughs> it's a Noir box, which would be a lot of fun. We do have Noir Basketball coming up after this. So maybe once we do a Noir group break, maybe someone will be inspired to do a personal break. That would be wild. We'll see. still teams left in that noir basketball pick your team too ladies and gentlemen grab your teams before they end up in a number block far too many times have I heard ah oh, that was the team I was gonna get and now it's in a number block come on plenty of opportunities to get into that pick your team too on jazbeescasebreaks.com don't miss out Box number one of three, retail edition, pick your team number 19. And a silver Crooks, Lori Markinen, Red Wave. Julio Okafor. So, veteran commons don't ship in prison, but obviously, vet silvers will ship. But this base, Pascal Siakam, that common will not ship, in case you're wondering the difference. Obviously, inserts like this, rookie or uh, rookie or uh, vet will ship. Obviously, all rookie cards will ship. That insert will ship. Nick Claxton will ship. John Morant Silver will ship. Matthew Shearer, who bought the Grizzlies, too. Wow. Gets the Silver John ja Morant. I'll cover some spots right away. I don't know what do these go for raw now. I feel like I feel like the prices for these are always just so wacky. Let me look. Uh, let me look at 130point.com eBay sales. Let's do a quick look. 
John Morant Silver Prism Basketball. Search. Quick search. Oliver sold his for 525. Let's see here. Yeah, well PSA ten went for a grand. So yeah, I think maybe Oh, there was a raw that sold for two seventy. That's a great price actually. Just straight up auction. That guy's bummed. Yeah, I, I wanna say three to five hundred bucks should be should be the range there, just at a quick look. I mean, if you grade it, if it grades out nicely, and you're you're getting a lot more. Penmanship autograph, Keith Van Horn. Then I would just sit on it. <laughs> just wait until basketball comes back. Wait until John Morant logs in a couple more good seasons under his belt. Keith Van Horn for the Nets. Old Net going to Rocky. Montrez. The Red Waves aren't numbered, so we'll breeze by those. But they will ship, of course. And a silver, Langston Galloway for the Pistons. That will be for uh, Derek, Derek E with that. There are some vets that will, whose vet base cards, the, the vet base cards that will ship, LeBron James, I mean this was gonna ship anyway, but LeBron James, uh, Giannis, Kobe, and second year, the second year Luka Doncic cards. Seiko Demboya will ship, Red Wave, nice. At Kobe, of course, will ship. NBA Finalist Green. I don't think it's numbered, but it's a nice parallel there, too. Silver, Jordan, bad to the bone. Bad to the bone. Bad. I wish they play that. I hope they do. I wonder if he hits a nice shot or something. Derek with the Pistons. Any rookie silver? Gotta hold on to, I think. At least for at least for a season or two. You know, I wish we had a Seiko Seiko Silver. I don't know if the red waves go as well as the silvers, but but yeah, I think we've learned our lesson from from back in the day. You know how many uh, you know how many Giannis silvers we've picked we we've pulled probably five years ago or whatever. Back in the day, when we were getting 13, 14 Prism products and we couldn't even sell it on the site. Slow to sell. Those Giannis's silvers were probably going for five, ten bucks a pop back then. Flash forward, fast forward to, to some years later. Now look up what Giannis silvers out of Prism are going for, rookie silvers. And then see what what graded ones are going for. See what a graded out of PSA 8 goes for. PSA 9, look what that goes for. PSA 10. So, you can get a rookie silver. Maybe you get it. Or maybe a maybe a third tier rookie, low tier rookie. Jordan Bone really hasn't made his bones yet, right? But these these guys can be late bloomers, you know. Like Oladipo, late bloomer. And these kids are just. Coming, coming out of just a year in college, so sometimes they gotta marinate a little bit more. Although Bo may have played for a little bit more in here, but either way. See if they marinate in the next couple of years. Yeah, Seiko Dimboya I know has a bit of a high ceiling too. Sup Jeremy33? Bit of a high ceiling, you know? He's gonna get a lot of minutes on that team too. So that's good. Kobe White was playing well before the season was on pause, but it looks like looks like NBA is going to follow NHL pretty quickly, and we're gonna we might get some NBA action pretty soon. So I'm looking forward to that. There, speaking of Giannis, there he is. That'll go to the Bucks. That'll be even even like the non-rookie Giannis's. 
has been doing doing okay on the secondary market. Gonna get a raw grade right there for Prism Giannis. Those mosaics are doing all right. Thirty bucks? No, that's a silver. Silvers go for thirty dollars. It's not even his rookie card. That's crazy. All right. Anyway. Giannis Prism rookie now raw. Bill is saying six hundred bucks. It's crazy. There's Darius Baisley rookie silver for the Thunder. OKC Gary Prescott. That's crazy. Yeah, Arthur. That guy was just a was just a a rookie with a long name back in the day. Arthur I didn't even know how to pronounce it. Had no need to. Who knew that? Why, why waste my time learning the name of a guy who is just going to be a Darko Millage? Nope. Turned out that he was, uh, that he, he was even, uh, he turned out to be even better than a lot of expectations. I can, Bill. I don't know what's going on with Bill here in this chat. He probably needs to refresh the page. Even these Luka Doncic second years have been doing okay too. And world be free. There you go, penmanship autograph. It looks like Bill's chat is down. Sixers, that's going to be for Fred. Yeah, who? Are you talking about Giannis, Jeremy? Yeah. Some postseason wins, some series wins, some signature wins for Giannis. All of that is hashtag good for the hobby. You know, that'll just continue to increase his profile. Win an NBA win an NBA finals. You know what I mean? Beat a big market team like the Lakers or something like that. Then, you know, then you start seeing those Giannis cards take the next jump, and the next jump, and the next jump. Wow, shots fired. IMAX saying, and Giannis doesn't cry like Embiid. Ooh. Yeah, no, I don't. I don't think Giannis. I mean, Giannis has won one playoff game, but I don't think uh, a, a playoff series. Not yet. Embiid is a crybaby, says Arthur. That's what Arthur Peru is saying. Yeah, I mean, remember when remember when everyone was like, lol's Jimmy Butler, why are you going to Miami if, if all you want to do is win? You know? Well, the type of mentality that Jimmy Butler has, I don't think really fit with the mentality of that Sixers team. Which is why I don't think he stuck around. Yeah, Ross saying Giannis a beast. I think so. I mean, he is the next big thing. You know, I mean, he's gonna he's gonna carry the the league. I think in a post LeBron world. Jimmy Buckets has a big ego. Too big an ego? I'd rather take too big an ego 
than mentally soft professional athletes. I know, post, yeah, post LeBron's a crazy thought, right? But he's been in the league for a long time. Rudy Gay Silver. Post LeBron will be Bronny. What I mean, what does everyone? I mean, I don't watch a lot of. Where where does he go? It's it's around here. I don't watch a lot of Sierra Canyon. High school basketball games. But there's Jakob Pertl for the Spurs, penmanship autograph. But, I mean, is he supposed to be good? Because that would be crazy. He's legit. Rob and Derek saying Bronny, if he grows, he has a chance. Well, he's only like, what, 14, 15, right? He can, he can, add, he can add some inches on that height. What's up, Wester? What's going on? Ross is tempted for a prism rookie raw for what, Giannis? I think Doncic can dominate a game. Well, Giannis still has no outside shot, Ross. So he, if he develops that, then I think he's unguardable. But until then, there's Zion, nice. Green Demboya. Doncic, I think, is, is pretty incredible. But I don't know. I think I think uh, there he is right there. LeBron doesn't have an outside shot. Well, I think his outside shot is more credible than Giannis's. And he's a better passer of the ball too. So he can do things from the outside. Gian I mean, as scary as it seems, Giannis still has room to grow. How, how terrifying is that? No, I, I mean, I think the market for on, on like Giannis Prisms, I think will probably go up and down, you know, but if he keeps the, if he keeps, if we're saying on the trajectory of Giannis, right? There you go. That's for the Clippers. Here's what, here's what, here's what you're looking at. You know, you want that. You, you want markets to go like this, right? So you could buy the Giannis at 600 right there. And let's say it dips, right? I got to say the next jump has got to be higher than that. You know, so then maybe it gets to 650 right there and drops to 600 right here. But you got to ride those waves out. That, I, think, I think that's what it is. This is the same with a hobby, the same with any market, the same with any company you're following in stocks or anything like that. There's going to be dips. It's just market, you know? But if you can ride out the dip, and if, that's if you're confident about Giannis being superstar level, right? MVP level, champion, world champion, Hall of Famer, you know, then you can, then you can think about that kind of trajectory right there. And, you know, and hope that he doesn't have any controversy around him. You've got to cross your fingers for that, too. Now, it's three-box retail, prison basketball, ladies and gentlemen. Pick your team number 19. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. I'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.